Okay. Find the numeric value of the work done on the guess. Uh, in figure, okay, in these two figures. Okay, so this question wants us to find the work done. Uh, work done on the guess. Okay? Which is uh, W. So what is uh, how to find work done from the PV graph, pressure volume graph? Okay, if refer to the notes, work done from the PV graph is the area under the graph. Yeah, work done is area under the graph, under the PV graph, uh, the area under the graph. Okay? So look, let's do the question A. Yeah? Uh, so what's the work done for this PV graph, which is the area under the graph? Okay, uh, so uh, maybe you can highlight. Uh, so the area under the graph is uh, this one. Ah, this is the work done. Similarly for question B, uh, the area under the graph is this one. Uh, this is the work done. Okay, now let's find out the work done uh, uh, using the area under PV graph. Okay, work done is the area. Uh, this, all of these are work done. This work done for question A. This is the work done for question B. Okay, work done is the area under PV graph. Okay, so uh, look at the first one. Uh, actually, here you see can area one, area two. Uh, you can find the rectangle area uh, plus the triangle area. Uh, for me, I just find the trapezium area. Yeah, uh, trapezium. This is a trapezium, so very easy. Uh, okay, so um, be careful with the all the you see all the exponent exponent. Huh? be careful with all the exponent. And the unit, this one is Pascal, this one is meter cube. Okay, good. It's already in SI unit. Okay, uh, be careful with all the exponent. Yeah, some students, they miss out this uh, exponent. Okay, uh, so uh, find the area under, okay, for question A, for, for the first graph. So half times, how to find the area of trapezium? Uh, area of trapezium is uh, this, these two parallel, la parallel uh, length added together, okay? Uh, so this is 1, this is 3. Be careful, we have exponent here. So it's actually, uh, it's actually, uh, you know, it's actually 1 plus, uh, 1 plus 3. Huh? I can write it as an exponent I put over here. Uh, okay, you understand? You understand this one? Uh, 1 plus 3, the parallel, parallel side, we added together, 1 plus 3. Uh, so the exponent, this one exponent I put at the side here. Okay, and then multiply by, multiply by what? Multiply by the, uh, the height, uh, we call this the height. So uh, this is uh, 3 minus 1, yeah? which is a 2. Uh, yeah? This is 2 meter cube. So 2, I just put 2 lah. Okay, that's, is there any exponent? No exponent. Okay, so that's, uh, uh, this is actually a trapezium, uh, area of a trapezium. Uh, okay, so let's calculate the answer, see whether we get or not. We'll get the answer or not. Okay, so the answer is uh, 4 exponent, 4 exponent 5. 4 exponent 5. Joule. Okay, uh, so that's the answer. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. 4 exponent 5, Joe. Good. So now, um, let's continue for question B. Uh, okay. For here. Okay, now we continue for question B. So find the work done. Uh, so what we can see is... Um, uh, looking at the process here, uh, wait, uh, uh, one thing I miss out, okay, one thing I miss out is, 
about the positive work done or negative work done the sign positive negative sign uh, so is this uh, for question a yeah? back to question a is this a positive work done or negative work done ah uh, is this a positive work done or negative work done this arrow is very important see this one this arrow is very important ah uh, uh, all this arrow uh, all this arrow ah uh. so look at here this arrow means it goes uh, from this point this is let's say this is the initial point and this is the final point you understand uh, this is the initial condition this is the final condition so uh from initial condition go to final condition it, the graph actually goes to the right the graph go to the right so actually uh it goes from this one meter cube to three meter cube the volume increase ah so for for the first graph its volume increase so it's uh, expansion Uh, expansion so expansion is um positive work done or negative work done uh, is it positive work done or negative work done so uh back to this square uh back to the concept we have learned before about expansion expansion is work done by the gas work done by the system expansion volume increase huh you see the graph go to the right go to the right that means the volume increase volume increase expansion uh, if expansion work done positive ah this is a positive work done so this this one you should add an uh, sign this is a positive work done ah okay uh, so we can say this is a work done uh okay all right work done by the gas ah uh, or uh, because of expansion because uh, the volume increase the graph go to the to the right ah uh, the volume increase so this is important ah uh, even the sign of it yeah this is work done by the gas or we can sometimes we say work done by the system yeah why you say work done by the gas because the gas push the piston up the gas push the piston up ah uh, so expansion work done by the gas this is a positive work done okay ah uh, this is what it means by, by the sign okay so look at question b okay before we think about the positive negative sign let us uh, okay just find the value first work done okay this is uh, also area under the pv graph be careful with the exponent okay so uh, let's do it yeah so uh, as you can see here the process is uh, constant volume you see it, uh, it starts from here the, the this is the initial point and this is the final point you see that uh, actually this one compression volume decrease uh, okay right down here this one is going to the do you see the arrow the arrow is going to the left you see that it's going to the left so it's uh, this is the this is the initial this is the final so so it goes from uh, three to one uh, so this one volume decrease this one is compression this one is work done on the gas uh, later you will get uh, work done negative okay okay before we go further uh, let's talk about this one see this one go down go go left see this one go down this one is uh, the first process is maintained at constant volume ah this one is constant volume so i can say this this is a isochoric process yeah for the first one uh, for the first one and then the second one is going uh, constant pressure you see that constant pressure at two ah uh, so this is isobaric uh right uh, isobaric uh, this this one yeah for for this top this part this one is isochoric so you see uh, this isochoric process, constant volume, means no work done. Uh, we also learned before about the isochoric process. You see that isochoric process? Uh, no area under the graph. No area under graph. No area under PB graph is work done. Zero. Zero work done. You understand? Zero work done. Uh, but isobaric, the isobaric process, you have area under the graph. Uh, area under the graph. So it is um, 
uh, you know how to find isobaric process uh, you, this is the the rectangle shape uh, rectangle area uh, so we use a uh, key v final minus v initial uh, v final minus initial so actually here you should actually use 2 minus 3 because it's final minus initial uh, to find the this side you, sh you should actually use 2 minus 3 uh, but we uh, to find this work done is very troublesome if you want to consider one by one yeah we have area one some more we have area two some more and each of them you want to use uh, final minus initial uh, very uh, I mean troublesome so let's, let's just uh, uh, conclude it with work done negative yeah just put a sign in, in, at the final okay uh, so now we just bother about the value yeah value Okay, so what I want to say is isochoric process, constant volume, no expansion, no compression, volume constant is zero work done, uh, zero work done, no area, uh, zero work done because no area. Uh, but isobaric process, you have area is like P delta V, uh, yeah, pressure multiply change of volume, okay, V final minus V initial. Okay, so I hope you get the idea. Okay, so let us just jump into finding these two area a1 plus a2. So uh, very simple, I just put uh, uh, put as a1 plus a2. Okay, so it is a uh, uh, it is uh, just take just take uh, so a1 is uh, you know one multiply. Uh, remember you have exponent here. Okay, don't forget about the exponent. It is one exponent five Pascal. Okay, one exponent five Pascal. Um, uh, okay, if you want to find, uh, uh, okay, uh, we should use uh, one minus two, uh, actually, <laughs> but I don't bother about so much. Yeah, you okay, should use v final minus v initial. But uh, I don't. I just want to think about the value now. So this is just one. Uh, for a one is one meter cube. Uh, one meter cube. Right. Uh, just put one lah. Just put one. Yeah. That's all, yeah. That's all I want to do. And then a two, a two is uh two two exponent five. All right, two exponent five, two exponent five, and then multiply by this uh one also. Yeah, this length is one. Yeah, huh? it's like three minus or uh, two minus three is negative one. And never mind. Um, just put one. Okay, because the graph is going to the left. You understand? Uh, so we should use uh, 2 minus 3 actually uh, but I don't bother I just put value first okay so okay so what's the answer you got okay so uh, this one uh, 1 exponent 5 2 exponent 5 so we get 3 exponent 5 uh, 3 exponent 5 joule okay uh, but the thing is you see uh, this one is the graph go to the you cannot leave it as positive value actually this answer is wrong uh, this is a negative work done because this is compression compression uh, volume decrease volume decrease so uh, this one is a negative work done uh, actually by right you should write 1 minus 2 2 minus 3 you understand here you put 1 minus 2 here you put 2 minus 3 uh, so here you get negative 1 negative 1 uh, actually here you should write as a, a negative one, negative one. Yeah, you understand? Uh, because this is actually this a one is like uh, one minus two. Uh, this one is like uh, two minus three. You know, it's like uh, volume final minus volume initial. Uh, by right, should do like that lah. Okay. Uh, so here you should get a negative value. Uh, understand? Ah, uh, v uh one minus one minus two, and this one is two minus three. I hope you understand, yeah. So, uh, this is the answer actually. Okay, this is the answer. So, is the answer correct? Yeah. So here, actually, this is a negative work done. I should put a negative sign. Uh, this one is positive, and uh, this one is negative. Okay. So, uh, why why negative? Uh, why negative? Uh, explain explain because this is uh. Uh, this is uh, you know, go back to our concept. Our concept, uh, when volume decrease, volume decrease, compression is work done on the gas. Work done on the gas is work done negative. Uh, it's like 
the guest doesn't do any work. The, the guest doesn't do any work, work done by somebody else pushing on the gas, uh, causing the volume decrease, compression. The gas doesn't do any work. Uh, if the gas doesn't do any work, means work done negative. But if the, the gas do some work, like work done by the gas, or the by the gas, the gas push the piston up, the gas do some work, uh, then work done positive. Uh, expansion. Okay, now it's compression. You see that? This one is uh, volume decrease, compression. So compression work done, uh, volume decrease is work done on the gas, is negative work done. Ah, so you can write here as this is work done on the gas or work done on the system. Uh, the, the, the system doesn't do any work. Okay, the system doesn't do any work. Uh, this is a compression. Uh, the volume decrease, uh, volume decrease. So that's why the work done is negative. Okay, uh, that's the answer. Okay, so I hope you understand. Okay, so that's all for these questions. Let's move on.